Hi, this is Mama Dr. Tochi with today's class on when you keep losing stuff, okay? When you keep losing stuff and you're losing stuff mysteriously, okay? You need to pay attention. Granted that some people lose stuff because of age, um, age-related senility or um, decline in cognitive function, the big English words just mean you're getting older and you're becoming more forgetful. <laughs> okay? Um, there are people who lose stuff because of that. There are some people who lose stuff due to, uh, uh, you know, diseases of the brain that cause them to become more forgetful. There are people who are forgetful because of menopause uh, or some other health conditions that may not be debilitating but can be inconvenient. There are people who lose their memory due to medications they're taking or even diet. You know, if you have a high, highly uh, westernized diet, okay, uh, like we would say over here, the standard American diet, um, that can mess with your memory, you know, function. You, you know, you drop your keys somewhere and you forget where you drop the keys, okay? So... Aside of those, if you've eliminated all of those, but things are missing mysteriously, you know you drop something here, or this is where you usually keep it, or it's under lock and key, and then you come back, you're not seeing it under that same lock and key where you put it, then this class may be for you. I encourage you to go get that drink, get the snack, go get your note, uh, notebook and your pen, and we are going to uh, have us some juicy forbidden fruit today. Thank you for coming back. And as usual, a little bit of housekeeping. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for supporting me. If you are a member, double thank you to you for financially supporting the content that I put out at the, in this channel. I can't do it without you, so thank you. If you'd like to be a member of my channel, please click the join button you see below this video. If you don't see that join button, just realize that it's not yet available in your country or region yet. I also encourage you to be a subscriber to my channel and also to click all notification buttons on so that you will know when I put out good content like this. And do give me a thumbs up because that encourages me to do more. If anyone is trying to reach you using my name and my image, my videos claiming to be me, they're reaching out to you on YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, realize that it's a scam. I don't reach out to people I don't know. I don't reach out to people at random, okay? If you need to get a hold of me for spiritual practice coaching, for Reiki therapy, for divinations, consultations, you wanna take some of my courses, get some of my books, I encourage you to go to my website, which is at tochi.us, T-O-C-H-I dot U-S. Go to the website. You'll see so much information there that will help you in your spiritual lifestyle. So let's get into today's class. So maybe you have found out that uh, you, you miss stuff mysteriously. You put things under lock and key. You could have sworn that you locked that thing yourself. And for some reason, the thing vanished and, and you can't find it. No one seems to know where they've gone. People say they don't touch your stuff. You might want to pay attention, okay? You might want to pay attention. Missing stuff is one of the ways that certain kinds of spirit guides want to pull your attention to them, okay? They have been trying to reach you through dreams, uh, through other people, through messages. You've not been paying attention. So they start making you miss things. There are people, for instance, who would say, um, maybe they run a business, okay? And maybe uh, the person, a customer came in and paid them $100, okay? And they counted the money themselves, $100. They put the money down where they usually put their money under lock and key. And at the end of the day, 
when they go there to take that money, they find that that $100 is not complete. They might find $80, $70, $95, okay? And they're the only ones in the store or the only ones running the business. There are some people sometimes they would keep money at home and they have a, you know, a safe or they have a hidden, you know, nook where they hide their, their money, you know, somewhere they keep their money. And maybe in the morning they counted the money. It was hundred dollars. Maybe they had, you know, $20 bills, five $20 bills. By evening time, when they go there to get that money, they'll find out that the money is now $80 or $60. And some people really have it bad. They may come there and see only $20 left. But before you go and say, well, maybe someone in the house took it, there sometimes there's they are the only ones in the house. They're the only ones living there. There's no one else there or, or no one else is home with them at the time. Okay. Um, some people would even say they, I, I think there was one case um, I was reading about where the person said they counted the money in front of a witness and they put the money in their pocket. When they took the money out of their pocket, it was less than what they put into the pocket. Now, before you run around and start saying, okay, I'm missing money. Where are the spirit guys bothering me? This phenomenon has to be happening to you consistently several times. So it's not just it happens once or twice. It has to happen to you several times. Okay. For it to be significant. Okay. So there are some people that happens for them every month or every week or every other month or every other week. But it keeps on happening again and again and again. It keeps on happening and there's no explanation. Okay. Um, for some people, it's not money. Sometimes it happens with your jewelry. Uh, for some people, it happens with their food. <laughs> okay. They, they, they put down a plate of food and by the time they come back to look at the food, it's like someone was eating out of that food and they are the only ones who are in the home. Okay. So you need to pay attention to that. Okay. If again, the important thing, it needs to be happening again and again and again, not once or twice. Like we need to be seeing this happening four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Okay. And it happens to the same thing. So if it's money that's missing, it's money always missing. If it's the food that's getting eaten, it's, you know, food all the time. If there's a jewelry missing, that's what it is. These things that miss also have to be of value to you, the person who is experiencing the loss. So let's say, for instance, um, you don't like beer and you buy beer, the beer keeps missing. OK, you might be like, oh, OK, um, I don't care. You know, I'm not even going to pay attention as to whether the beer is there or is not there. But usually this will happen to you about or on something that is valuable to you. You need to pay attention, okay? More often than not, it, it means that your spirit guides need your attention. Your spirit guides need your attention. One of the things you can do is to go and start aligning with them, start connecting with them, and make offerings to them. If you want to know how to connect with your spiritual crew, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your guardian spirit, your creator, I have several videos on these topics. Please do a search in my channel and you will see several videos on how to connect with different uh, spirit guides, even your, your guardian spirit. I have one dedicated or actually two dedicated to guardian spirits, okay? Uh, one with a mirror and one without a mirror, if I remember correctly. Okay, you need to start connecting with them so that you can find out what is it that they're wanting from you. The other thing too is that you need to start paying attention to your dreams. If you're someone who dreams, you don't remember your dreams, I have video classes on that too, how to remember your dreams, different kinds of dreams. If you have... 
uh, unusual dreams, what you should do if you're having unusual dreams. I also have videos of that. Please go through my channel um, and, and locate um, my videos on dreams. There's a whole playlist there for dreams. And I believe there's a whole uh, a playlist there as well for spirit, spirit guides, okay? All right. You need to go through my library of videos, okay? It's a library. You know, there's so many questions and uh, answered and, and topics handled, okay? I need to put in that plug right there. But at the very least, if you're still working on trying to remember the dreams, still trying to work out which kind of guides are you working with, at the very least, start talking to your ancestors, start talking to your, your guardian spirit, start talking to your creator, however you call your creator, God, Ella uh, uh you know, however you call it, God, you know, the universal, um, the cosmic consciousness, okay, universal spirit, okay, start speaking, start connecting, and ask questions. What is needed of me? What do you need of me? What do you need of me that I'm not giving to you? And trust me, they will respond, okay? Um, they will respond to you through your dreams. They will even respond to you through your children. You know, your kid can come up to you and start saying, hey, you need to do X, Y, Z. Or you might meet uh, people, you know, or go for a divination where it comes up in a divination, you need to be offering this or you need to be doing that. And sometimes what these spirit guides want from you are very simple. Sometimes it's just water, cool water. Sometimes it's, it's, it's an alcoholic beverage, some, some dry gin or beer. It's, it, and it's usually things that are very simple. Understand this, when things like this happen and your spirit, spirit guides are trying to gain your attention, it's for your good because they're trying to get their job done by helping you fulfill your life destiny. And if you're making it difficult for them to help you fulfill your life destiny, you're preventing them from doing what they agreed to help you do. Therefore, they're going to do what they need to do to get your attention and hopefully get you back on the right path. Okay? So again, um, pay attention. If you've ruled out medical or health reasons um, for being so forgetful and not knowing where things are and thing and but the things are literally missing so it's not like um your car keys um you drop them and you don't always remember where you dropped your car keys and eventually you find them that's not what we're talking about we're talking about things that go missing and remain missing and there's just no way of explaining how they went missing then the lesson of this class is for you, okay? Please go through this video again to understand the problem and understand what it looks like and what the solution is. It's a very, very simple solution, okay? You can go through this video, listen to it again, and make sure you get everything that was discussed in it. So I'd be glad to hear your, your views and your comments, your questions, in below this video we're thankful to our creator our guardian spirits our ancestors spirit guides and all those in the unseen realms who do what they need to do to get our attention so that we can be in alignment with our life destiny ashe